Yeah, it was a bad year to pick McCaffrey number one. He's my biggest disappointment. I did it, I think, in two leagues. I, I don't want the number one pick anymore. I, you know, I should have picked him Devontae Adams. Like, it it was just foolish. Um, You know, but so many people do pick these running backs. Who is going to be the top guy off the board next year? Is it just a lock that is JT? And that scares me a little because there's always the potential with injuries, especially at this position. I actually had this conversation yesterday with somebody, uh, you know, Jonathan Taylor obviously is probably going to be that top guy. Yeah. But what happens if Derrick Henry comes back yeah. and throughout the playoffs, he just goes absolutely fucking crazy as you can expect Derrick Henry to do. Are people going to start taking Derrick Henry more seriously because his ADP drops because, Oh, he doesn't catch the ball that much. Yeah. Yada, yada, yada. Those should be the two top guys next year, in my opinion, depending on what we see out of Derrick Henry throughout the playoffs. But uh, I think Jonathan Taylor definitely is going to be the top one. Uh, another guy that should be is Austin Eckler. He should yeah. be up there in your draft boards. Uh, absolutely. Just he's, a, you know, healthier version, I guess, of Christian McCaffrey almost sure. is what he does. Uh, so that'll be that'll be good to see as well. Who's a guy you're going to target next year? Um, you know, it, like who's going, I feel like Mahomes is always the first guy off the board. You don't necessarily want to be the guy that drafts a quarterback too early, but who's a guy that I think is going to, or that you think is going to kind of rise up some charts, maybe be one of the first guys off the board. Oh, we talked about him, Joe Burrow. I think, yeah. you know, he, he needs to be in that, uh, maybe not top five, but definitely in the top 10 for your quarterback uh, considerations. You know, I'm, I'm always going to target Justin Herbert. Herbie's my guy. He's been my guy for two years now. That's who I'm going to target. Uh, and, you know, honestly, if he cuts down on those interceptions, holy shit, this kid is going to be a fantasy fucking gem. You know, if he doesn't, because you look at some of the games, he has three, four touchdowns. He also has two interceptions. Yep. And, you know, that takes away from more yardage, shit like that and more possible touchdowns. So if he cuts back on interceptions, not only is he going to absolutely kill it on the field for the Chargers, he's going to start massacring people uh, in fantasy. Yeah, yardage, touchdowns, he airs it out. Uh, currently second right now in fantasy football points. All right, well, let's talk Cooper Cup. I don't know if you have ADP uh, offhand for him, but I see that he was drafted fourth round in my, you know, in my league. Yeah, um, ADP was wide receiver 18. Uh, okay. So yeah, somewhere around the fourth round, you know, outside the top 15 though. What is his stock next year? Obviously soaring, but how high? Uh, you would expect first rounder at some point. Um, I normally am a guy who just every year draws middle of the pack for the draft. And, you know, say he doesn't go in those first five or six picks. That's who I'm going to pick up. I mean, yeah, you, you almost have to, you got to, you know, be wary of what Robert Woods is going to do, but look at, look at what happened when Woods was still in at the first half of the year, Cooper yeah. cup was just as dominant. It's been like wire dominant. to wire. Great. Yeah. So, I mean, uh, he, he's a guy too, depending on how you want to build your team. Would you take him first? I mean, yeah. if you are a team that is like, fuck it, I'll get running backs, you know, fifth, sixth, seventh round. Cooper Cup could be that top pick. I honestly like I, I might just and this could be foolish, but I feel like receiver was the way to go this year. You know, mm -hmm. you should build around there and then to fill out. I mean, and again, who knows what the season's gonna look like next year if we're still dealing with COVID and whatnot, but running back just got decimated.